This video will demonstrate how to program an ID number in a Neptune register using Neptune's new Bluetooth field programming mouse and also Neptune's field manager application on a smartphone. Uh, for purposes of this video, I've already connected the register to the Bluetooth field programming mouse via the alligator clips. Uh, you can see here on top of the mouse you have R, G, and B. Uh, that's representation for red, green, and black. And you can see here I've already connected the red, the green, and the black wires to the uh, Bluetooth field programming mouse. To power on the Bluetooth field programming mouse, uh, simply press the button on the side of the mouse. Uh, you will notice that the LED light green around the button is flashing green. That's an indication that it is trying to pair to a device. So the next thing that you will need to do is open up the field manager uh, application on your smartphone or your tablet and you're going to tap on connect. Uh, you can see here at the top of the screen uh, once it has a successful connection to the Bluetooth field programming mouse uh, it will list the serial number of that particular Bluetooth field programming mouse uh, and you can also notice that the LED light ring is illuminated solid green that's also an indication that you have a successful connection to uh, the smartphone or the tablet. So to program the register, we're going to go here to program a register. I'm going to click on edit in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to click on three wire. Alright, so you can see here where the register ID is listed. I want to change that ID number, so just tap inside of the box. And I'm going to delete that ID number out, and I'm just going to put in a random 10-digit ID number. Once you've done that, uh, you can just tap somewhere outside of the number box. Uh, and then what you will need to do is come down here in the bottom right-hand corner, the three little dots. Tap on those. And you're going to tap on Program going to come up and say that the register will be programmed to the current configuration and this operation cannot be undone. So if you have entered in the uh, proper ID number that you want to program to that register, tap on OK. And we're going to come back down here and tap on 3-wire again. And it has finished programming the ID number. Just to verify that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the uh, three dots at the bottom uh, right-hand corner of the screen, and I'm just going to tap on Query and Read. Tap on 3-Wire again, and basically what this is doing is just querying the register to get all of this information off of it, and you can see here the ID number that I initially programmed in uh, is correct, and it is uh, now programmed to that specific register.